What's good people? It's Joshua from Joshua Chubb Photography back again with another video and I am back from my trip. Went to Punta Cana and it was a blast. Um, so those of you who've seen the last video, um, I told you guys uh, what I would be taking with me. Um, so off the bat, um, the bag I was using was the Brevite Jumper. Um, the bag performed um, excellent, no complaints whatsoever. It was able to pack all the stuff that I needed to fit in there. Um, and then even when I got there, I switched out some things that way I could fit like sunscreen and um, bug spray and all that kind of stuff in there, first aid kit. Um, bag I highly recommend for travel. Um, if you're into like traveling with a book bag, um, which going out of the country for the first time, um, I wanted to make sure I was prepared, no complaints on the bag. Um, and before actually I get too far into the video, um, check out my setup. I think this might be my new temporary setup. Um, so I had to kind of rearrange some stuff on my desk. Got a couple Instax prints out. Got the um, uh, Spirit Sprite 2, what's that called? Ilford Sprite 2. Um, I shot Kodak 200, so it's being developed. I'm going to have a video coming um, soon once I get those results back. but. Let me know if you like the setup or not. Um, you know, I had to steal that plant from my wife's area over here, so don't tell her. But yeah, so um, also camera gear, I took the XE4, I took the 18 millimeter F2, and I took the 35 millimeter 1.4. So just wanted to make a kind of quick video to tell you all about my experience of using this particular piece of kit while I was traveling. And to be honest, um, the trip that I went on, it was a bachelor trip. And so it was me and five other guys. Um, I'm, you know, the only one in the group who's a photographer. And so I didn't really take as many pictures as I thought I would. Um, I kind of wanted to be in the moment. I kind of wanted to be engaging, you know, them and everything. And so I didn't want to let, um, you know, photography get in the way of my experience, um, if that makes sense. Um, and so we went to really two places. Um, so we actually had to fly into Santo Domingo, um, but we were staying in Punta Cana, which is like a two hour drive. So we flew in um, and then had to rent a car, drove over. So in Punta Cana, I didn't really take that many photos. Um, I took pretty much, I took like a picture of the house. I'll picture that up here soon. Um, house was pretty cool. Um, had a swimming pool in the backyard, um, really nice, like man, it was so, so lovely, so beautiful there. Um, I already want to go back, but anyway, so um, I didn't really take as many photos as I, you know, as I thought I would. Um, I did bring the Instax printer because I wanted to, you know, give some photos to the locals, um, but it wasn't really, when we were in Punta Cana, um, it wasn't really a good time um, for me to do that, and so you know, I wasn't going to force myself to do it. You know, if it happened, it happened. Um, and it didn't happen when I was in Punta Cana. So um, on the way back, though, we had to drive back to Santo Domingo and we had some time to spend in the city there. And there I was actually able to do some uh, a little bit of street photography. And also I was able to give out some Instax photos. And I tell you what, it is it's so I mean, it's not really funny, but it's like a, a joy. Um, to see people's like faces like when you hand them this thing and they don't know what it is like they're looking at it like both sides and so um, I said uh, you know like un momento you know because mostly everybody speaks Spanish or whatever and when they see that it's like a picture of them that I just took like the light that goes in their eyes it's, it's like so cool um, so before I know it um, the first gentleman um, I'll throw him up right now um, once he figured out what it was, he actually like kind of chased me down to try and get another photo because <laughs> um, uh, he, you know, he wanted to take a picture in another location and get another photo. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then we uh, stopped at a restaurant. Um, this gentleman uh, was playing a guitar outside the restaurant. So I gave him a photo. And then after we ate, we were able to walk around the city a little bit. And so um, I started, you know, passing out photos there and so um, this gentleman here um, he has some maracas and uh, we actually got into a, a heated salsa battle um, y'all should have seen it I should have had somebody get it on camera um, we got into a heated battle 
but he was super cool. Um, he actually wanted another photo um, with the uh, maracas, uh, so that was pretty cool. And then like he told somebody about the photos, and then um, it was a lot of kind of a lot of people around, and so like um, a couple little children, um, you know, wanted some of the photos. And then I walked to another area um, where I seen um, like some young ladies that were taking uh, like each other's pictures, or whatever. And um, I asked them if they wanted a photo, and then like when they saw it, they were like just so happy and so surprised. Um, and then like they had some of their friends come over to take photos. Um, so it was some kind of like modeling event or something going on or whatever. Um, but it was just such a joy. Um, but as far as the gear though, um, I mean, I really only switched lenses twice. Um, I pretty much kept the 18 on the whole time. And my plan was I was going to use the 18 for pretty much like walking around, but then when it came to the Instax, I was going to use the 35.14. And I forgot to actually switch it out when I started doing the photos. Um, but yeah, so I switched it out one time though um, in low light because I needed um, obviously to open up to 1.4. Um, and then there was one other time when I was trying to take a picture and I couldn't physically get closer. Um, so I switched to the 35 1.4 then. Um, only bummer, I forgot to bring my little, my little mini flash that goes to the X-T3. Um, there was, when I switched to the 35 1.4, it was because I was in low light and I really would have preferred to use flash. And so I was like, dang it, the one time, you know, I don't bring the flash. Um, so that is, you know, one of the downfalls of the XE4. There's no built-in flash. And so kind of has me thinking, like, maybe I should add the X100V to my kit. And then I don't really have to worry about switching lenses as the 35 millimeter, you know, full frame equivalent sits in between the 28 and the 50. Plus I get a built-in flash. Um, I don't know. I might do that in the future. I'm on the fence about it though. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, the camera held up great. Um, I had the thumb grip on, I had the hand grip on um, pretty much the whole time, and I had my moment neck strap on. Um, so yeah, just a quick video um, to kind of share my experience um, traveling out the country for the first time um, with the kit that I took. Um, but everything was small, compact, and lightweight. Um, I mean, I, I love Fujifilm for that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.